It's now 646 and it is Black History Month. Our local schools are taking time to discuss issues of race, also discrimination. As News Channel 3's Madison Lyle reports, it's a discussion some educators plan to continue throughout the school year with the help of an outside organization. This is a great time to really just set a base knowledge about ra what race and racism is. Megan Neville's education director with the Anti-Defamation League, or ADL for short. ADL is one of the oldest civil rights organizations in the United States. It was founded in 1913. ADL was founded in response to a moment of severe anti-Semitic violence. Over the last hundred years, their mission has evolved to fight all forms of discrimination and inequality. We understand that we can't fight for one without fighting for everybody. Today, they offer resources and trainings in local schools to help teachers open conversations around race. Neville says with everything our country has experienced within the last year, these open dialogues more important than ever. In the context of the you know, Black Lives Matter movement, the protests over the summer, the pandemic and all that that has shown in terms of inequity, schools have been desperate for support and resources. One Valley school that's seen the benefit of these trainings firsthand, Palm Desert Charter Middle School. We noticed a dramatic decline in name calling, um, a lot more tolerant. That was just the most magical way to start a year. Deborah Nolan, the assistant principal, says ADL has helped them train not only teachers, but also student leaders. To empower them on how to deal with a situation or where they can go for help. With the pandemic and distance learning, ADL expected a decline in demand for their services. However, they've witnessed the opposite. We have been providing, I think, more training than maybe we ever have. And students earnest to have these conversations about real events they're seeing and experiencing in their own communities. They are so, so passionate. And they understand these issues in ways that I think many of us were raised not to think about them. ADL also has resources available for families on their website, ADL.org. For families, we have table talks, which are discussion guides around certain issues. All tools for the same cause. If we don't know how to take care of our peers, then how are we going to build the next generation? Madison Weil, News Channel 3. 648 is the time now. The ADL says that it also has a grant money available for other schools interested in its educational tools. We've got more details on our website at KESQ.com.